<laughs> Thanks a lot for staying with us here on Sunrise. We're coming to you live from Constitution the Hill uh, this morning. As I mentioned earlier, that we're joined by the Gauteng Premier now, David Makura, really to expound further in terms of uh, at a policy level, at a governmental level, how are we faring in terms of addressing issues around violence um, against our children? Now, Premier, you've got another interesting statistics that you're holding up. Just read us, uh, read it for us so we can just know exactly what stands before us. Victims of sexual abuse are 4.9% times more likely to abuse drugs. And these are facts now, these are coming in. Yes, as you know, we have a huge problem in our, in our society and in our province related to drugs uh, and substance abuse. Now, we often deal with, with uh, huge numbers and the statistics representing real people. Uh, but again, what the study says is that the source is how the children have been uh, brought up in families and where they have experienced uh, 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 abuse, uh, sexual abuse and violence. That's th- those who have experienced that tend to end up uh, abusing drugs as well. As I say, we, 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 we end up uh, pouring and directing lots of resources and efforts towards dealing with a, a, a serious crime uh, of drugs in our society. And, and I think what we will have to do better is to direct resources to empowering uh, and skilling our, our youth so they don't end up being a, a, a source of problem that we are facing currently. And the interventions that uh, we are putting in place to invest in our youth uh, through our program of TEPO 500,000 uh, through the programs like uh, uh, the work we are doing, uh, Kimoja, which is uh, educating the youth as a preventive measure, educating the youth uh, to take care of themselves. Uh, so we have to put a, a great deal of effort in prevention uh, rather than cure, uh, you know. Well, the prevention rather than cure perspective also comes in with how perceptions and community perceptions, particularly when it comes to reporting cases, need to be changed. Because in order for us to have a despondent communities, because when they go to the police station and they report a case, they may not necessarily feel supported or resourced enough to know what where to from there. And because we have an under-resourced or under-capacitated environment, everybody feels despondent. So then how do we start changing perceptions about the police that are offering the services, about the environment as well, so that indeed we can see more change. The provincial commissioner earlier on uh, spoke uh, here and made it clear that uh, a lot of effort also is now being directed at education. The education campaigns are important even for the, our police men and women. Uh, we have to invest a lot in prevention as well in, in there. Um, and, and, and our overall approach is basically that every one of us can play a full role. Uh, communities, uh, households, street by street, block by block. If you know in that household there's a child who's being abused, there must be action taken because if that community doesn't take action, later when the child grows and becomes a criminal, it becomes a problem for the community when, in fact, it's clear now in the study that has been done by Save the Children that the source of all this is how our children uh, are brought up and, and the, ex- the extent to which we are not putting enough uh, to raise up the children to be uh, productive and constructive citizens uh, who are empowered to can play that uh, full role. Uh, and in order to do that, uh, as I say, we have uh, the full implications of this study is that we have to direct more resources uh, to investing in our children. The program, we had a program in our province called Banapili, Children First. And indeed, this is a program that was running uh, in the previous terms of provincial government. And I would like, uh, we have been discussing already with, with, the, with the provincial uh, cabinet, that uh, we need to bring back that program. It has to be children first. And if we invest more in our children, give them a better chance to be better citizens, we will solve a lot of problems we are currently addressing now. We are pouring resources yeah. into solving problems 
problems that could have been solved much earlier on. As you mentioned very rightly earlier on, that sometimes we come in at the tail end of matters when really we should have been starting from a grassroots uh, perspective in terms of being able to address some of those uh, challenges that are currently being faced. Uh, Premier, we have to leave our conversation there this morning, but thanks a lot again for joining us and shedding some light, especially from a provincial perspective, how then are you starting to capacitate some of the stakeholders that you've been seeing this morning um, you know, in the hope to address this violence against children. So thank you so much for your time. Thank you very much, Faith. Of course, uh, speaking there to the Gauteng Premier, David Makura, regarding issues, and of course this uh, five-year campaign, it's called uh, the Crusade that has been launched uh, courtesy of uh, Save the Children South Africa, really looking at ending violence against children in this country and how to have it done formidably so. So this is how we wrap up our broadcast coming in from Constitution Hill this morning. Thanks a lot for staying tuned. We're going to hand you over to studio, but from us and the team, it is a happy Friday. Have a fantastic weekend. the season of savings at Mica, and we're bringing you these festive deals. Get 20 liters of Durham Armatex textured paint for only 549. Cool down with this Elements 3-in-1 high velocity van for 599. Mow it down with this Ryobi petrol lawnmower for just 1999. And step up with a Gravity 5 and 3 step ladder combo for only 599. Come to Mica. Let us show you how. The car behind me hit me so hard, I was forced under a bus, and there was smoke everywhere. I tried to get out, but both doors were jammed. I jumped out the back door, and the first thing I did was phone my mom. Whilst I was talking to her, emergency services arrived. The force of my accident alerted Discovery Insurer, and they immediately sent help. The paramedic rushed up to me, grabbed my arm just as I passed out, and when I came to, I was safe.